All right, Shalom. First off, I would like to give our glory, honor, and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that teach and rule well, laboring 100% doctrine who I learned is true from. And Shalom to the hopeful elect, pushing his truth and our righteousness and the sincerity around the four winds of the earth. Okay, this is Amos chapter 3, and I'm going to start at verse 1. And it reads, Hear this word that the Lord, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, have spoken against you, O children of Israel, okay, the Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth, therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities, okay? So, with that being said, it is, let me bring out two more scriptures to tie it in. Um, first Peter. See, so y'all fail to realize, man, that, um, first of all, y'all been taught by the wrong people. You got these false prophets. That's why the Lord said, let no man deceive you, man. And y'all are being led astray, Okay. First Peter chapter four, verse 17, for the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the most high. How the Israelites, man, it's going to be Jacob's trouble. OK, Jacob's trouble. That's scriptural, man. That's in the scriptures. Jeremiah 30 and seven, man. OK, it's going to be Jacob's trouble. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh? OK, so what is the end of? Um, what is the end of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh? Okay. You know it's, go it's not going to be pretty. It's not going to be pretty, man. Um, Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation is near than we believe, man. It's near than when we believe, okay? And we believe in Yahweh by Shema Shah by faith, okay? We haven't saw our Lord and Savior physically, but we believe. We was chose to believe, okay? Through whatever we go through, no matter what, we still have faith in the names and we believe, man. Okay? Lord willing. We, we be a part of that hopeful elect, man, because we also believe that we have 100% truth. We believe that our apostles and elders preach 100% truth. It is not given to everybody, okay? The scripture say it was given unto you to know the mystery, man. Okay, it wasn't given to them. But to you so-called Negro, Latinos, Native American, and the Israelites, man, two-thirds of you will be punished. One-third will be saved. Okay, two-thirds will take the mark of the beast, man, which is prophecy. A lot of people are not preaching that, man. Okay? You got to come back and um, seek the Lord, man, so you can be in good grace. You can, be in, you, can, you, can, you can be in good hands, okay? Because this is the grace period. The doors of grace are about to close, man. Um... Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 6, and it reads, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Seek him while he may be found, man. Okay? Call on him while he is near. He is near, man. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, man. Come back, be converted, repent, man. Be transformed. You have to change, man, okay? And he will have mercy upon him and to our power, for he will abundantly pardon, okay? But you know that pride, man, that pride, knowledge puff of up, wisdom of this world is foolish to the most high Yahweh, okay? And that pride go up for discretion. So a lot of y'all got so much pride, you scared to be wrong. You don't want to be wrong, okay? You think you right. The wages of sin is death, man. Okay? Scriptures say my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, man. 
for a lack of knowledge, man. Being ignorant, man. Sadist children, stupid. Don't want to come back like a newborn babe and see Yahweh by Shemal Shai, the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh being the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. That's His name, man. Okay? Um, Proverbs chapter 1 and I'm going to start at verse 2. To know wisdom and discretion to perceive the words of understanding. To receive the instruction of wisdom, justice and judgment and equity. To give subtlety to the simple, to the young man knowledge and discretion. Verse 5. A wise man will hear and will increase learning. Okay? He will increase learning. He won't be stuck, man. Just stuck at knowing I'm an Israelite and that's it. No. And a man of understanding shall attain to wise counsels, man. Okay? He will he will continue to grow. It's called repetition. He will repeat it. He'll stay in the scriptures. He'll stay watching videos. He'll stay going to camp. Okay? He'll stay making lessons. He's trying to grow through the spirit, man. Okay? Even the sincere Akwaf, the few sisters, okay? They can't just be stuck on knowing I'm an Israelite woman. No, you got to know your role, man. Everybody got a role. Okay, the times that are at hand, man, there are evil, bad times, man. The Lord is going to destroy two-thirds along with the heathen and put Esau, Edom, and the heathen in captivity, man. And America's going to be brought down with thermonuclear fire. 200 million missiles, man. This is prophecy. Do, do y'all understand what's coming? Do y'all understand what's at hand? Okay, y'all caught up on this, that, and the third because Esau Edom ultimately the Lord, y'all by Shemal Shah has y'all blinded by this strong delusion, got y'all believing a lie. But Esau Edom is being controlled by y'all by Shemal Shah, too, man. Okay, and he's y'all father right now. Okay, y'all, y'all have ways that are that are identical and equivalent to Esau Edom, man. Y'all on the same path of Esau Edom, man. Straight discretion. And y'all rulership is going down with him, man. Because this is y'all kingdom. You don't want to come back and listen, man. You don't want to come back and listen. You don't want to come back and obey. Okay? So the Lord is going to destroy you if you don't come back and repent, man. And you don't know how long you have to repent. You can't depend on tomorrow. Okay? Get it while you can, man. Just get understanding. Okay, I ain't planning on making this less long. I just want to put that out there, man. So, Lord willing, you know, someone was edified, man. This is serious business, man. Our Heavenly Father has been sent his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah, along with a host of angels, his army, to come um, wreak havoc on this place, man. Bring this place down. A ball, a ball to America. Okay, so Lord willing, you was edified to the next time I like give our glory, honor, infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Chakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, that teacher rule well, and labor in 100% doctrine, who I learned this truth from. Shalom on to the hopeful elect that's pushing this truth and our righteousness and its sincerity around the four winds of the earth. Okay, Abab Abab, Kwame Asha Allah, Barak Kal Akim. And before I close out the lesson, man, I just. Looked up there, and that's a sign. I'm in Proverbs chapter 1, and before my ch the charger just went to 45, it was 44. So, Proverbs 1 and 44. Okay, 144. Okay, so, Shalom.